Hey, what's up? So, I'm back on Hate Nashbury. I'll be here until tomorrow morning, and then I gotta make my way to Compton. Uh, meet up with her friend. Uh, she got a bus and everything, so <coughs> I uh, gonna go kick it with her for a bit and uh, see, you know, see what's what. Um, I guess while I'm in Oakland, I heard tell that. If you sign up for food benefits, you can also get the cash benefits there, too. So that's a plus. I need to get my food stamps back online so I uh, can at least have some food and uh, spend my money that that I spend for, you know, on dog food, not just food for myself and my dog. I can, you know, spend it on, you know, my money on things that I need, like a new tarp or uh my uh, a new tarp or you know basically you know whatever i need and um i need to get a better pack you know because my pack is uh i don't know if you can see it right there but it's starting to tear it's starting to tear right here and where the shoulder straps are and if that goes and I only got a couple more uh, loops in there that can hold it. So, got to figure that out soon. Um, it's, a <laughs> it's a little wet. I mean, it's just so foggy in San Francisco right now. It feels like rain, but it's really not rain. It's just fog. Um, uh, probably going to head to Gwen Bueno... Vista Park, uh, a friend of mine uh, told me about this, this secret squirrel spot. I don't know. I mean, it's only going to midnight right now, and um, I'll probably just sleep on Hate and Ashbury Street for the night. Um, I don't know. Like I said, you know, I kind of make this up as I go along, you know, I just figure things out, you know, sometimes my plans don't go like, like I want them to, but I do try, but I, uh, quit worrying about stuff now, um, where I'm going to get my next meal or if and when I can get some money because, um, uh, you know, I, the road always provides, and um, a friend of mine sent me like twenty-five bucks today, and <laughs> I went to this place called Mel uh, Mel Drive-In. It's where I had that big uh, juicy hamburger that was so good. And uh, you know what I mean by you know the road provides. Like when I left. Uh, <coughs> Uh, El Monte, I had, a, I walked from El Monte, California, all the way to uh, Jenner, California, but in between there's this place called Duncan Mills, you know, I made a video about that, and, uh, you know, the locals there, you know, the only place that was open in that town has like one bar, one market, and a bunch of train museums, and, uh, Started talking to the locals and, you know, told them about my story and what I'm doing. And the guy threw me 20 bucks. And uh, so they told me, you know, you ain't got to worry about, you know, the cops messing with you. Because um, the guy said, I ain't seen a cop in like three or four weeks now. So I was pretty, uh, you know, uh, felt pretty safe, you know. Uh, cause usually, you know, in small towns like that, you know, I worry about cops messing with you, you know, they having an attitude, you know, not all cops are bad, but, um, nine times out of 10, you know, my run-ins with them are, are not that good, but this time, it, um, no cops. So in the morning I walked to, um, Jenner, uh, California. And then when I got there, or just before I got in, got into town, this this car pulled up, 
and he goes, man, you, you cover quite a distance, don't you? And I was like, well, yeah, been walking for the better part of the day. Last night I got stuck in Duncan cause I couldn't uh, see the highway anymore. And then he threw me like 10 bucks. He goes, man, I'm rooting for you. And, um, so I get into Jenner and, uh, the lady noticed that, that I was homeless. I had my pack and I had my dog and I asked about the bus system and they, she told me what time it comes and it wasn't going to be until like three and a half hours and went to go buy something to eat. She gave it to me for free and I went back in again thinking about water and she pulls out hey does your dog have any water you can have this and it was a gallon of water you know and like you know things you know like I said the road always provides man and <clears throat> um every time I went in there and uh, they didn't I, I guess it's like maybe it's like a policy or something because they uh wouldn't charge me and then I get to Point uh, Arena, California. It's along the coastal highway. And, you know, I found out that the bus doesn't continue up to, uh, up north until Monday. I was like, man, screw that. You know, I'm not going to wait one more day around here. And so I ended up leaving. Went back to Santa Rosa. So I covered all that ground for nothing and. I was feeling a little jaded, and I was thinking to myself, oh, might as well go east. And uh, <laughs> so I caught the bus first thing in the morning. But the cool thing about it, the lady that was on the, the bus with me the day before was catching the bus back to her, her work back down south. And she paid for my ride, 10 bucks to get back to Santa Rosa. That, that was awesome. So basically that, that trip was basically for free. You know, my food was for free and, you know, things like that, man. It puts me in a really good mood. And um, like I said, you know, it, it keeps me thinking that, you know, people are, are kind or genuinely kind. They want to help you. And uh, so, yeah. That's kind of like my rant and what I'm going to be doing. Um, going to be heading east. Going to meet up with a friend in New Mexico. It's a good friend. Um, person that's always been nice to me and everything. And everybody says, you know, she's, you know, kind of a bitch. But I don't think so. I don't get that. I don't get that vibe, you know. She's always been nice to me, you know kind of an awesome person you know but anywho um this video is like eight minutes long i better cut it short it'll take forever just to upload so love you to everyone uh to all my friends and fam i'm doing great i'll keep posting regularly like i always do love and light bye